Hi everyone, my name is Alexandri. In this video, I'll talk about how to sparsify your deep learning models from scratch. If you want to find out more about what sparsification is and the performance benefits related to it, please check out this, this other video. Before we dive into the details, I want to point out that there are three common pathways to use sparse models. First, you want to check out Neuralmagic's Sparso, where we have a wide collection of models that have already been sparsified and are ready for deployment. For more details, please see this video about Sparso. If you find a model of interest in the Sparso but still need to fine tune to a custom data set, you can use a technique called sparse transfer, allowing to fine tune your model on using an already sparsified model. If you don't have a sparse model to start from, you'll need to sparsify from scratch. But don't worry, at Neuralmagic, we make sparsity simple. So what does sparsifying from scratch mean? The common approach starts from a regular deep learning model already trained on your data set, the dense model. Then we gradually remove or quantize weights from the model while still fine tuning to allow the model to adapt to the sparsity. Without Neuralmagic, that means implementing or having access to different specification algorithms and modifying your training flow to apply the different algorithms at the right time. Not fun. That's where SparseML comes in. SparseML is Neuralmagic's library for creating sparse models, and it takes care of all of that for you. SparseML has all the tools, algorithms, and interfaces you need. It supports state-of-the-art algorithms for pruning, quantization, and knowledge distillation, and is accessible via a simple pip install. One feature that makes SparseML so easy to use is the fact that it operates on recipes. You can think of it like a cake recipe, a list of ingredients and instructions on how to mix them. Similarly, a SparseML recipe is a list of algorithms you want to use and some parameters that define their behavior. A recipe is a YAML file, a very common Python interface. Here's an example of a recipe for pruning and quantizing a model from scratch. Each algorithm is wrapped by a modifier. We call these modifiers anything that modifies your training flow. In this example, we are using a gradual magnitude pruning, a simple and effective pruning algorithm. We're also using a quantization modifier which will quantize the model at the end of fine tuning of the fine tuning process. Note also that we support other kinds of modifiers to easily control the training process, such as learning rate modifiers and weight decay modifiers. That is all great, but with some, so many options, how do you create your own recipe from scratch? A great resource for this is again our sparse zoo. I suggest that you go to a sparse zoo and check out the recipes used to sparsify the models listed there. Those recipes are great templates for getting started. So now we install a sparse ML and you have your recipe. How do you use all of that after all? Sparse ML has integrations to a growing list of deep learning platforms, including Hugging Faces Transformers, Ultralytics YOLOV5, and YOLOACT. More integrations are being added all the time. That means that you can use standard flow for these platforms and just add simple arguments to include a recipe. For instance, in this example, you can use a simple argument, dash dash recipe, to apply a recipe to, a, to sparsify a YOLOV5 model. Learn more, more about SparseML integrations in our integrations webpage listed in the description below. If you have a custom training flow that is not using one of the existing integrations, you can still use SparseML with a few additional lines of code. The first thing you need to do is importing a scheduled modifier manager from SparseML. This class is responsible for managing the modifiers in the recipe and applying the needed changes to the training flow. Then you instantiate a manager from your specific recipe and wrap your optimizer using this manager. Then you proceed with your standard flow. At the end, you finalize the manager. That's it. You're not ready to start sparsifying your models from scratch. It's never been easier. Thanks for watching.